Okay, this video is for replacing the front brakes on a, this is a 96 Camry. It's going to be uh, the same from 92 to 96. Um, but uh, here are the tools and the parts that we're using. Uh, we're replacing new pads, new rotors, uh, because ours are all deeply scored. Um, also, we got some anti-seize brake lube, some silicone paste for the uh, sliding pins. And we got our, this is the piston compressing tool so we can push the piston into the caliper because the new pads are wider. Um, then just got a ratchet, 12 and 14 millimeter socket um, for the, let's see, for the caliper. And then a 17 for the caliper bracket. And then I'm just going to be using an impact gun so I have this universal tool as well, um, which you might not be using. Anyhow, um, let's get started. Okay, so... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 12 millimeter socket just to get this uh, brake hose um, mount disconnected. That way it will make it easier to move my caliper out of the way uh, so I can work on the other components. So I'm just going to set that aside. That just pops right out. And then I'm going to use the 14 millimeter socket to get the... Uh, caliper bolt, bolts out there we go slide the caliper back out it's sticking a little on the pads but there we go all right so i'm just going to hang this up out of the way on the spring actually and then so there's these little springs that we're going to take out and set aside and we can pull out our pads so you can see these are pretty low Oh, and don't lose track of your hardware. Uh, let's see. This piece. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it goes like so. Anyways, that's going to probably fall out again. But, uh, yeah, make sure you have all your little hardware pieces in the right position. Don't lose track of those. There's one, two, three, four clips that go into the caliper mounting bracket. And then... So I'm going to use my impact tool to get the caliper mounting bracket out because it's going to be t on there pretty tight. So these are 17 millimeter uh, head bolts right here. Just gonna set the bracket aside. Now we can take off our caliper. This caliper, as you can see, is pretty deeply scored. So we're just gonna put new ones on. All right, here you can see our comparison of uh, old brake pads to new. Obviously the new ones have the nice new thick material, but um, if you, check out the old ones uh, you gotta inspect for this kind of problem the uh, the material is actually cracking um, it's very uneven uh, the the rotors were getting scored up really badly and actually the inner pad is as you can see is worn more than the outer pad so you gotta make sure and check both sides this one has a little bit of life left in it but this one is down to just about nothing so definitely be sure to check all your pads when you're doing uh, your brake inspection. Okay, here's another view. Um, you can see um, the uneven scoring and wear on the brake pad, of course, has the matching uneven wear on the rotor. It's actually 
quite deep on the bottom here and on the top. So um, instead of trying to resurface and reuse these because they're so deeply scored and because replacements aren't that expensive, uh, we're just going to put brand new rotors with our new pads. Okay, so before we go and put the brakes back together, I just want to do a little preparation to make sure that everything comes out nicely and everything functions well when it's all done. Um, one thing to do is these sliding pins, uh, you can move them up because they do need to be able to slide back and forth. Um, and if you pull them out, you just peel the boot back and you can see it's pretty dry here. Um, there's also this little rubber um, piece here that uh, can get damaged or worn out. This one looks okay, I think. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and put some silicone paste on it. Lube it up and then we'll put it back in. Because, yeah, you don't want these to uh, freeze up on you. Because uh, if they do, then your brake pad wear can be very uneven, and then you'll be uh, replacing your brake pads again sooner than necessary. Do the same with the other pin. Put some loom ball over it. Put it back in. And you also make sure that these boots are in decent condition and aren't falling apart. These ones look okay. Um, and then also, uh, we're going to, I like to lube the, all the contact areas where the brake pads are touching, where metal is making contact. So on these little hardware fit pieces, you can see where all the contact points are because you can see the shiny metal. So that's a giveaway as to where you can lubricate to uh, avoid noise and sticking or anything like that. Yeah, this brake lube here is um, it's meant for high temperatures, so it's. Um, will withstand the heat of the brakes um, and then also um, the other end of the contact on the brake pad just for good measure you can put some brake lube there just be careful not to get it on the uh, friction material and it's generally a good idea to not touch the friction material you don't want oil and dirt and grease on there. Um, and then also you're going to have contact on the back. Um, oh, I'm sorry. And then on the back where the uh, caliper touches the uh, brake pad. So I'm just kind of going crazy with it and putting uh, some brake lube all over the place. And we'll set that aside. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that with all the pads just to be on the safe side. And then uh, we're also going to clean up our rotor because when the rotor comes in the packaging, it has some oil residue on it. Uh, it was wrapped in plastic. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to use some acetone and just a paper towel or you can use a, any clean rag and then just clean up the brake rotor. Okay so that we don't have any oil on the contact area so that's going to affect the braking and the break-in of the uh, friction material. I want to make sure you get that material broken in properly. Uh, your brake pads may or may not, usually they uh, have some instructions on how to burnish or break in the material usually by doing a series of stops when you first drive the vehicle. So yeah, this one, the, the oil that was on the rotor and the plastic that was wrapped around it actually has left quite a bit of gunk on here.
All right, so once this is all cleaned up and ready, then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our brakes. All right, now we are going to reassemble the front brake setup here. I'm gonna put, start by putting the rotor on that we cleaned up. Um, to hold the rotor in place, I'm just gonna use one of the lug nuts and just spin that on because the rotor is gonna shift around and it helps to have it lined up. So you gotta wiggle it on there so it's on all the way. And uh, then that'll help to have it lined up for when we put the rest of the components on. Um, next we can put our bracket on. Let's see. And then, uh, let's see, we can install our brake pads. And it's got to slide them into the hardware there. Make sure that you have all your little spring clips in place. Be careful not to get any of that brake lube onto the friction surfaces. And then you don't want to forget to put the little springs back on in the little holes there on the edge of the brake pad. Okay, now we're ready to, uh, well one last thing we have to do is compress our caliper and uh, then we'll slide it back in place and bolt it up. All right, so, um, oh, before I go any further, I'm just gonna tighten down these bolts for the bracket. Uh, and then, next what we gotta do, before we can put the caliper back on, because it's not gonna fit around these new brake pads, we gotta compress the uh, piston in there and so I'm just going to use an old brake pad and this tool it's a very simple inexpensive tool that's uh, designed to compress it and you just thread it by hand and just ease that piston back in there and I'm just going to push it basically as far as it will go that way I know I've got enough space because our everything is thicker now. The pads are thicker, the rotor is thicker, so we need a lot more space. So I'm just going to turn that until it stops. And then also you got to watch your uh, fluid level up top. got to make sure that your master cylinder isn't overflowing. Uh, sometimes the fluid level gets topped off and then there's actually too much fluid in there. So check that and make sure that you're not having a fluid spill under the hood. All right, so then we're gonna just put it on. Yeah, it might have to push your pins in a little bit, your sliding pins to make it line up. And there we go. my 14 millimeter socket to tighten those down and then one last thing is to uh, mount our brake hose back in place on the strut and that was a 12 millimeter socket and you can just push the hose a little bit out of the way there 
All right. And then uh, now that our uh, piston is pressed so far back, there's actually a gap between the uh, caliper and the brake pads inside. So make sure that you um, press on your brake pedal, pump it a couple of times to push the uh, piston back out because uh, you don't want to have any safety issues when you're trying to brake when you go and test drive this vehicle. So make sure and pump that pedal first before you go anywhere. And that's about it.